Hello guys, uh, Pixel of 21 here, and today I'm going to be giving you a, I think this is going to be a one shot video, just kind of give an idea of uh, my latest EU4 game, because if you read my channel description, I want to do EU4, Mountain Blade, Rimworld, CK2, all those kind of games, that's the games that I really like. So yeah, I'm going to show you a quick spotlight on my Tunis game, so this game already started as a Tunis game. Um, but I eventually converted to Andalusia. I don't know why I did that in the uh, in hindsight That was actually a pretty bad move to make on my part. But yeah, I've done it. So I'm gonna have to go with it. So yeah um, Let me just give you where we are right now. I'm trying to go for the sons of Carthage achievements, which is um If you come down over here Let me just get to it. Yeah, so I'm trying to get the sons of Carthage achievements Which is like basically you have to like recreate the old empire of Carthage. Yeah over there so I have many of the ones that I need <laughs> the ones that I don't have are all in the hands of the people state And this is like really really bad and I'll just get right and show you why Meantime this is the achievement that I have in this playthrough It's not that much just blockaders, CD or CDs and that kind of stuff Yeah so um I'm in a really bad spot right now Because like PayPal is the PayPal, PayPal state is one that controls all territory that I need left And they're in an alliance with Austria Austria Hungary more correctly And an alliance with Pomerania, which is another big of a deal. Um, Ferrara, which is really strong, which is basically already Italy, and like there's no way I can touch that. And uh, yeah, and right now I'm in a coalition, and people with those coalition are France, this big bug France, Navarra, Portugal, which is like, and Iberia. Now <laughs> I'm in like a really really bad spot. Like I can't do anything. No wars, no nothing. I have to be really careful about what I'm doing 24/7. So um. Yeah, as you can see, I'm in a pretty bad spot right now, and I'm not sure exactly I'm going to get out of it. But let me show you some other stuff. I have one idea group, one idea group, policy ideas, but I have like six unlock. My technology is so behind. It's just recently that I started to catch up a little bit on technology. Like, look at that. I'm in Europe, but I can't stand up against any other Europe guys. So this is actually my second time going for a Tunis game. First time I played, this was like way back 2015. Um, late 2015, early 2016, I went for the classic Africa route where I conquered like all of this. I was colonizing, I was just like taking over all of Africa when they released a new patch, a new uh, DLC. And back then, I wasn't aware of the whole thing where you had to stay on the beta branch, so I updated and that ruined like my whole game. I already saved, so there was nothing I could do about that. So that was very annoying. I had to like cancel that whole game, which really, really pissed me off. But I mean. So there wasn't much I could do, so I just went and carried on with it. And then, yeah, I decided to. It's been a long time since I tried to start a game, but I eventually said, All right, let me just give this another shot. So, look at my allies. My allies are the Auto Turks, which I hope will protect me from the Punitive War and Mali. I mean, it's not the best, but it's like the best I can get right now. Because if you look at my position, there's not really much that I can really pull in the terms of diplomacy. Maybe I'll go for Sweden or Russia, but like it's not really it's looking very likely I'll be able to pull an alliance with one of these guys. So yeah, that's kind of a I'm in a tough spot as you can basically tell. Um, if you look at my uh, let me see, look at my rivals. It's Papal States and Ferrara. So that's why I can't even go near those guys because they'll definitely back each up 24/7. Uh, my subject is Leon. He's really pissed off at me right now. So I guess that's pretty annoying, but like uh, I'm just gonna have to go with it. So because I enforce religion, I do expect that I would take down. Because we have a truce, I believe. So he's not gonna be able to attack me for like another, ooh, another three years. Um, okay. Hopefully by the time he's, hopefully he'll have counted on. Because if he should get support independence, like I think I'm pretty much due. Um, what else? If you look at the uh, the timeline, let me show you the timeline. So uh, yeah, we started as pretty uh stable tunis over here. And mainly, I went for Tlemcen and all these small guys. I released states. I was I with Morocco in the initial game. So yeah, I was just eating up all these small people. I was pretty really pissed off that Mamluks trying to get Fizan off me. I kind of saved up these guys for later because like I was kind of unstable. I was running really quickly. And the thing that I really regret about this game is that my tech was bad like throughout. Okay, at this point, I had vassalized Sus. So yeah, I started eating to Morocco and Portugal. I was kind of just like gearing up for when I have to go to to against Portugal. So things were going pretty smoothly around here, around this time. And then I think this war with Mamluks was like really bad. It took me like a whole lot of my manpower to like finally get stuff in um, in order. But before that, yeah, Morocco actually got high enough to break independence from me. And if you can look like Castile was just like boom, Aragon. It was just like some back and forth there. It was really bad. 
things were not stable for like the longest time ever so eventually i did manage to like retake morocco pull those things down and then this was really good for me because like aragon just lambasted castile which just allowed me to like castile which let me just push in there eat them up eat them up eat them up trying to just keep good relations with everybody to make sure that aragon doesn't come against me i think i released flemish and i wasn't sure whether i, did, I released or they broke free but i had like i've been having a whole lot of um rebel issues throughout and then wow this is like the best time ever because the papal state started to turn their attention to aragon and just started to crush aragon one war after war after war after war which allowed me to just go in there and swipe up aragon's remains once people stay like very soon people are just gonna go in on these guys take them out and then that's how i started to creep into iberia but like i wasn't really i don't know whether i wasn't decisive or something maybe i should think like the coastline because people just continue to like slowly and slowly and slowly and surely just like take all the land that i wanted which is like really really annoying because there wasn't much i could do the alliance chain was just so strong that i just kind of had to like bend to what they wanted so really this last few years that i expanded like crazy which in hindsight i was really bad because like everybody oh man everybody's just like in a coalition against me right now and like whoa so yeah that's kind of like the current state of my game I vassalized Leon, I fed Aragon to them, which was, I thought it wouldn't give me like the aggressive expansion, but it still gave me the aggressive expansion. So that's the current state of the world. I feel like um, if I was to do this again, I mean like I'm probably not getting the achievement, but if I was to do this again, I would definitely go with um, expansion ideas. I'm not sure about exploration ideas, but definitely expansion ideas. Kind of just like eat into Africa, get all because like Mali, look at that development, they're, like, they're, they're crazy strong, they have a lot of development in here. So if I would, if I could have, I would have eaten them up because like they have like, they would have really made me stronger is what I'm trying to say. So that's something that I would have definitely done in hindsight. So right now I have to kind of find a way to break up the people stable. stay, but like not much I can do. Um, I'm just kind of I'm waiting for them to go into a war with somebody else. So yeah, um, if you have any pointers, any tips, anything at all, please, <laughs> I would love to hear it. I think this was actually yeah this was um this was um this wasn't Brandenburg Prussia this was um um what's this guy's called again the Teutonic Order of Prussia yeah Brandenburg is really weak in this game they keep on getting eaten up kicked out beaten up yeah I've seen them come out and get killed again so many times um Bohemia was weak Austria was very strong Poland got eaten up pretty fairly early Russia is pretty strong um yeah so let me just, just like another look around so things are things aren't the best i guess i could still go forward maybe now i can finally turn my attention to africa but like with only a hundred years left i don't really see how i'll be able to get all of these with the really strong alliances that these guys have so yeah um i hope you enjoyed this little spotlight i was doing if you have any tips i'll be so grateful for what to do um thank you very much for watching and goodbye